Hello, welcome to the third and final spotlight on Tony de Zuniga. Uh, I saved the best, my favorite for last. And um, for those that have never seen the inside of these two magazines, Marvel Preview number two and Marvel Super Action. Uh, this book, both of these magazines are two of my favorite work by Tony. Let's dive right into it. Here we go. Look at this beautiful splash page. Writer Jerry Conway. Look at that. Look at the inking. Just stare at that for a while. Beautiful. You know, as I said before, I believe Tony is his own best inker. And with uh, many great artists, usually time factor is a problem, right? There's a deadline to be met. So when given enough time, look at this. Look at the quality and the detail. Okay, if you see this magazine for the first time, probably will erase any doubt in your mind that Tony can draw superhero action as well as Western or horror because just look at this look at this double page love this panel right here look at that look at that kick How about this beautiful panel right here beautiful I definitely rank Tony on top of my list of Filipino artists. There are many. Okay, from uh, Rudy Nebre to Alcala. There are many, many great artists, but I put Tony on the top of the list.
the inking here, the shading is just beautiful. Look at that. Once again, I can't harp enough on focusing on the details of the landscape. Look at that. Unbelievable. I think for those that have never seen this, it's a treat to see this and you may agree with me by the end of this video that this is some of the best, if not the best work by Tony. Just love the sequential panel right here. What's great about this magazine and the other one is you get the full long story, okay? Look at that, beautiful double page spread. And that is the end of the story uh, I will save the chicken um, second story uh, for another video maybe in his own spotlight so that we can move on to the next magazine look at this beautiful cover okay let's jump right into this magazine great looking magazine fairly affordable I think this one might be a little bit more expensive this one definitely much cheaper now this one is done by Tony as well as Rico Rival okay so I can't say um, how much work it, uh, we could put in here. I can certainly see um, Tony's work and, rec and recognize it. As far as Rico, maybe he did some of the inking. Maybe, I don't know. If you know the answer, let me know. But once again, one, you can tell the inking is slightly different compared to the other magazine. So perhaps Rico did um, some of the inking, if not a lot of the inking. Okay. As far as the layout and the facial of the character, the facial features, which is very recognizable, it certainly is uh, Tony's work. But the inking, especially like something like this right here, you know, it looks a, a little bit cleaner than the style that um, Tony would ink. Check out this full action page. Come on now. Look at this. Oh yeah.
at least from my eyes, I can definitely see uh, a slight difference in the inking. So if I had to bet, I said that uh, most of the inking was done by Rico. And he did a very good job. No complaint from me. Tony does a lot of cinematic kind of view in both magazine and both of the stories, so it's just beautiful. Sweeping big angles, okay? Too bad that Tony did not get a chance to uh, do more work with the Punisher because based on what I saw here in uh, these two magazines, he would have been an awesome regular artist if the Punisher had his own title back in the late 70s, right? That's one crazy headshot right there. Check this out. How crazy is this? Check out this sequential panel. Oh yeah? Not so fast. <laughs> Here's that. These two, this sequential um, action scene remind me of James Bond. And that's it, folks. Uh, that's... So let's check out what happened here not so fast lady not so fast and that is the end thank you very much I hope you enjoyed this spotlight on Tony until the next artist bye bye